SFL 32 tomorrow night, Saturday, January 27th at the Tia Constant Center. You know, I heard Mitch was going pro. I thought it was a viable fight. You know, you got two former SFL champions. It's, it's marketable. It's, it's good for the people. I think it's going to be, uh, you know, fireworks. I think people are going to like it. Yeah, I, I spent 10 years in the military and uh, just got out uh, three weeks ago in the military. And, uh, you know, I was, I was happy and proud about what I did. And, um, you know, just ready for a new chapter. And I will dominate. Uh, he is going to get stopped in round two tomorrow. Ooh. Mark my words. Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, last question. That's your final answer. <laughs> <laughs> you like to phone a friend. <laughs> yeah, I can guarantee you too. <laughs> Anyone who's been in that cage with me, you know, they'll, they'll be the first ones to tell you that they weren't ready for that intensity, and uh, you can't teach that, you can't train that. So Thomas Blair, he fought my teammate Joey Marino back when he made his pro debut. I was there and Joey was in his corner, and I saw this guy. I said, this was a perfect fight for me. I'm a pretty low-key guy, a respectful guy. I think for the most part, everybody pretty much respects me. So um, when he did call me out, it was, it was a little surprising. I, I figured I'd go ahead and um, give him a win. Uh, he's a sergeant major. Let's hear it for him. Well, I like to challenge myself. You know, I retired from the, uh, you know, I started out as an Airborne Rangers in Green Bay. Uh, I retired, so, you know, I always wanted to do it. When I came back from Afghanistan as a contractor, I decided I'm moving to Colorado and I'm snow skiing and fighting. Uh, my biggest thing would be, you know, I quit drinking and doing drugs in 1985. Woo! I guess my biggest inspiration is the spiritual power that I've tapped into. So win or lose, you know, I'm a better man for it.